Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei. Today, we're gonna to be looking at dirty ass data and making it clean. In pandas slash Python. As a data scientist or data analyst, you're gonna be sitting with a lot of real world dirty ass data. You're gonna to have to clean it up. The eight most common techniques I use to clean data. So, let me show you how. All right, so let's import the first library, which is import pandas as PD. Once you're done with that, let's get the data frame in. We call it data frame pd.read csv. And the data set we're going to be looking at is called data scientists. And in there, we basically have a nice data set from all the data scientist um, salary information. It's always good to also always get the shape of your data. This tells you there's 3,900 uh, 3, um, rows and 17 columns of data. First technique is dropping unwanted columns. So I start by creating a variable and I put in a list all the columns that I don't. So now we have a list of all columns that we don't want. The dropping method is actually quite simple. We say data frame and we say drop and we just feed it that variable and we use the in place attribute and say that's true that will modify the data frame and I'm just going to say access is one right so now let's do shape you see now we only have six columns all right cleaning technique two removing duplicates so let's find the duplicates using the duplicated method keep equals false let's give you a list there but what we can do is just take your data frame name and wrap it in square brackets and then you get all your duplicates so you are our duplicates so what you can do is you can either choose to keep the first one you know the, the first occurrence of the duplicate or the last occurrence of the duplicate so let's just go we want to keep the last occurrence of the duplicates we say df drop duplicates that's the method and we say keep we want to keep let's say the first instance and say in place in place we'll just make sure that we overwrite the data frame so if we try this one again, see that there are no duplicates, and there we go, duplicates resolved. All right, so we now are gonna remove all the relevant rows. So in our data set over here, we have monthly and hourly data for, for data science jobs. So we wanna remove the hourly jobs. So let's quickly identify that, data frame, salary estimate. I'm gonna use the string dot contains uh, fun uh, method which basically check if it contains a specific keyword. And I'm gonna say it contains the words per hour. And I don't want it to be, remember Python is case sensitive. I wanna say case should be false because I don't care about the case. So here you go, here's all the hourly um, jobs you can see there. So let's quickly see how many there are. Length is 21. So we're gonna remove 21 from 3909. So all we do is we say data frame is equal to data frame keyword here is drop. I'm going to say you can take this entire string over there, paste it in there, say equals to true dot index. And now if we look at the shape, you should see it's gone. And let's just test whether all the hourlies are gone no hourly data left all right crucial technique removing nulls so let's identify all the nulls so df is not that's the, the method we're going to look at sum you would tell me oh we have some nulls we got nulls in that column one null in that column and two nulls in that column so now if i want to let's say i want to drop it specifically from the job description column i can say data frame equal to data from and overwrite this drop na that is the method and I'm going to say subset the subset would be what column and I can say I want to drop it specifically from the job description and say okay now if I rerun this job description should now have no nulls in it it's gone okay but I'm, I might want to just delete flat out all nulls so I can just say df uh, data frame drop no that should do it that should drop all nulls if I look at it now irrespective of the column it just dropped everything now there's no nulls okay the second situation is let's quickly look at this not nulls but you actually have values like that where 
something is not set as null, but it's got an R value like a minus one or an NA. So how do we deal with that? So if we have a situation like that, we need to use the contains method as well. So we say data frame, data frame. And I'm going to say the column I'm looking here is industry. And I'm looking at a string function, and it's the contains method. And we're going to look for minus one. So here are all the rows of data where the industry is minus one. Okay, so I'm going to replace that minus one with the unknown. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to replace that minus one. We're going to say data frame. The column we're looking at is industry. And we're going to say we're going to use the replace method. And we're going to replace minus one with unknown. And we're going to say in place. And we're going to say true because we want to overwrite the data frame. Let's quickly check all the value counts. We say we do a quick summary of all the columns. So there we have unknown. Let's see, we have no minus one in there. All right, so let's look at standardizing values. So sometimes in a specific column, you might have descriptions that are not standard. So I'm going to show you in this data set to string contains. We're looking for scientist. And we're saying the case is. So in this data set, you can see that there's a lot of data scientist descriptions that are not consistent and uniform. So I want to standardize that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say data frame look location. And I'm going to say I'm just going to paste this whole thing in there. I'm going to say job title is equal to, I want to set it to as a standard. All right. So now if we look at that, we should have all standard data scientist descriptions. See, all standard. Pretty cool. So we want to do that also for data analyst, data engineer as well. So now if we do on job title, value count, we should have all standard but you can see everything the data modeler and all of that we don't really want that so everything below 800 um, counts i want to kind of get rid of so what i can do is i can set a threshold so anything below 800 i want to exclude and say data frame counts that counts in there and i can say dl thresh drop that's the new variable I can say data frame job title is in method. I'm going to say that is in data frame counts dot index. Data frame counts is smaller than threshold. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say the data frame is equal to the data frame and everything that is not that little tilde symbol is not the threshold drop. Okay, so if I say data frame job title, value counts. Now you can see we only have scientist, engineer, analyst. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the salary estimate column, we're going to split it into minimum salary and maximum salary based on that little dash in the middle. So we're going to say data frame. We're going to tell it what to call the new columns. We're going to call it min salary. And the second column would be estimate max salary. That's the two new column names we're going to give it. And we're going to say that's equal to data frame. And we're going to take the salary estimate column. And we're going to say string method. And we're going to say split. And we're going to split it by that little dash. And we want to expand it into two new columns, say true. If we look at it now, you can see now we split it into two estimate min and estimate max salary as well. Now I want to split this column out as well. So now I want to replace the dollar and the K uh, of these two values. I'm going to start a new variable. I'm going to say replace dictionary. Yeah, that's just the variable name I'm giving it. I'm going to say in this dictionary, I'm going to say take the dollar. The dollar is a special character. So you need to indicate that it's a special, that you don't want the special character by putting that little forward slash in there and tell it to replace it with nothing. And then the second item in the dictionary would be the K. I want to replace that with a 0, 0, 0. So then we say data frame. The column I'm looking at is estimate min salary. It's data frame. Replace. Replace method. 
And we're going to replace it with the dictionary. So the replace dictionary variable. And we're going to say reg, reg x. Regular expression is equal to true. You should see we have now that replace. So now let's do the same for the max salary. So now the next technique is changing the data type. So we're going to look at the min and max salary just created. So let's say df.dtypes. So you can see it's all objects. So I want to convert the estimate min and maximum salary to integers. What I do is data frame and I give the data frame is estimate min dot as type. And so I want to declare it as int. And I do the same for the max. Now if you look at the data types, it's integers. Pretty cool. All right, so now let's strip out some characters out of the company name. You can see the company name has some suspicious characters to the right of it, like the last four characters. Let's strip that out. So how do we do that? We say data frame, column name is company name, and we say data frame. Next, string method, we're going to say everything to the right four characters. So now you can see that's all fixed. Yeah, so now you can see that we actually have quite a clean data set here. And in my next tutorial, we'll basically do some profiling on this data. For now, BA Sensei, signing out.